and Rehabilitation Minister Eknath Kharshe assures they would meet Prime Minister Narendra Modi for sugarcane FRP. NRBI completes 80 years of inception. Governor Raghuram Rajan says bringing the country into financial inclusion an important challenge. Thank you, Nancy. Good evening and welcome to Metro Scan from Mumbai. I am Mamta Bhatt. Enough the news in details. Relief and Rehabilitation Minister Eknath Kharse today in Legislative Assembly assured that he would be presenting the fair and remunerative price, that is, FRP issue of sugarcane, to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is scheduled to visit Mumbai tomorrow. Meanwhile, opposition demanded discussion on the matter of rising rate of serious crimes in the state. Simultaneously, assembly got disrupted five times due to opposition's protest on the same issue. Leader of Opposition and Legislative Council Dhananjay Munde also expressed concern about the state of law and order and proposed adjournment motion. He also criticized state administration by saying that people are in terror due to failure of law and order in the state. And the Reserve Bank of India is completing 80 years of inception. OVA correspondent had an exclusive chat with RBI Governor Raghuram Rajan. Take a look. The Reserve Bank of India completes 80 years of its inception. We have the man himself, Raghuram Rajan, the Governor of Reserve Bank of India, to talk to us. Thank you for talking to us, sir. Congratulations, okay. first of all. 80 years and still standing tall. How would you... Uh, like to describe the entire evolution? Well, it's, it's a long time in the life of man, short time in the life of an institution. There are 300-year-old central banks. But uh, look, we're, uh, uh, we're a young country, and, and I think that there is so much to do. So I think we look back on the 80 years and feel uh, a sense of pleasure that the institution has stood tall with capability and integrity. But, uh, you know, we have so many needs of the economy today, and so we are trying to rejuvenate from the inside and hope that, uh, you know, it's uh, the next 80 years we're looking forward to. Uh, on the 80th year, you people are going to uh, hold, are you are ho holding a financial inclusion conference, and Reserve Bank of India has always been supportive of financial inclusion policy. So tell us about uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow's program. And also, how, what efforts RBI is taking for financial inclusion? Well, we're very fortunate tomorrow morning to have the Prime Minister come for the conference along with the Finance Minister, Chief Minister Maharashtra, and, and also the Governor. But uh, the most, uh, I think, uh, uh, important challenge in front of us is to get everybody into the financial system. And uh, my sense is that we have to try various things. Of course, the government with the Jandan Yojana uh, as well as the new Mudra Bank is trying to move on both, uh, you know, uh, reaching the household as well as the small borrower. Uh, but we have to also work on creating new institutions. We are going to license the small finance bank as well as the payment bank, uh, but also use technology because to reach the small person, uh, you, it's very costly unless you use technology in a, in, a, in a clever way. There are some banks which are already doing it, but what we need to do is facilitate that process. Uh, so new kinds of business correspondence, new kinds of, way, uh, way, new kinds of traversing, uh, of ways of traversing the last mile, of uh, making sure that you can service these accounts at relatively low cost. I think that has to be the way forward, and, and I'm, I'm glad to say there are many, many uh, experiments on, and we'll see some of them succeed. Also for India, IMF Chief Christine Lagarde, she has said that she sees India, she's bullish on India. Also, IMF has expected 7.5% for 2015-16. ADB, that has also forecast 7.8% growth rate for 15-16. Now, globally, India has become a bright spot. Do you think this is achievable, and how? Well, I, I think uh, achievable depends on, um, you know, how your understanding of the new CSO numbers, uh, uh, um, how that occurs. Uh, I think based on the numbers that they have put out, it clearly is achievable. Uh, and uh, what we need to really focus on is, forget the GDP numbers, uh, we need to focus on getting uh, our stranded projects back on track, 
We need to get infrastructure investment up. We need to get the uh, Aam Aadmi more willing and confident about the future so that uh, he or she starts uh, spending uh, with moderate amounts of debt rather than excessive debt. So if we put all these together, we will have sustainable growth, whether that's seven, six, eight, nine, doesn't matter. We need to just remove the impediments in the way of growth, and that's what uh, I think we're all engaged in. All right, thank you.